Hello my friends, this is Sherry. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel. Uh, happy Friday. I hope you've had a great week or at least a nice week. <laughs> I've had a very nice week uh, and a happy week so it's all good but uh, I wanted to share with you my new project so I've already started on it. You've seen me put together book covers before, so I just went ahead and did that, got that done. So uh, here it is. I told you I was going to make a glue book slash journal, junk journal out of this. Well, I, I don't know if I showed you the cover. I showed you these Better Homes and Gardens cookbooks, and and so I uh, showed you the set of books that I, uh, you know, had brought home from the thrift store, and then I decided to take one of them and make a glue book because I thought they were so pretty <laughs> you know pretty cookbooks and I picked this yellow one to make the first one out of the others I do have in my shop if you wanted any of those are all in a group or a bundle but uh, and that will be linked below but uh, yeah here's the cover I've got orange rick rack here and you can see the, the cover is oranges and yellows and then the different foods here <laughs> I just thought this was a pretty kind of happy yellow sunny um, kind of um, book so anyway here's the fabric see the oranges in pretty colors it just kind of I had a yellow one but this one uh, when I pulled this one out I was like you know they jump out at me and tell me that they're, they're the right one so this one jumped out at me here's the back I think I like the backs of these with all these uh, kind of collage of pictures so and they, these were in pretty much almost like I would say new condition. I mean, there might be a little something somewhere, but uh, really nice condition. And the the insides too were like new. Uh, these inside of these covers were just plain yellow, like the outside it looked brand new, but just plain yellow. So I put some orange, orange and white gingham to go with, you know, all the oranges and some more of that fabric. So that is the cover. I thought it was turning out nice so far. And I've picked out uh, some pa paper, some pages, some, I wanna put some pockets in here. I think it's gonna go like this. These are recipe cards, vintage recipe cards that I've picked up. This is a double one, but it's never been folded. So I thought this would be a cute pocket over here. Pocket slash tuck spot. And this one could go here, like that. So I'm going to do that right now with you, and then I'll show you the signature. There's going to be three, <coughs> excuse me, three signatures, and uh, I'll show you the cardstock that I picked out for those covers. But let's glue this. I'm going to put glue here and here, just on two sides. Let me get my glue going. I was just using it, so it should be good to go. Actually, I was using up. I have two other almost empty bottles so I'm like I need to get rid of some of these bottles so I was I actually did empty one because it was I've been emptying it for a while and I keep on turning it upside down and make sure I'm putting it in the right spot um, and uh, trying to get every last bit out of it and I think I finally did so that one's gone and then I've got one more besides this to use up so let me make sure this is continuous little spot right there so yeah this is my my um, my Fabri-Tac sorry just wanted to get this in the right place here right on the edge of my scrapbook paper there so I did it like my, my usual way that I make covers if you want to see <clears throat> How, if you've never seen how I make a cover, just go back in my videos and look for a new project. And one of them will, more than one of them will show uh, me making a cover. You know, like from a book. So, but this one I'm going to do glue here and here. This one has lines on the back. Mm, but I don't see a date. This is uh, Barbara Wilson for C.R. Gibson. Very cute. Yeah, I pulled out a few and I thought, I had a smaller one out here and I thought, oh no, that's too small. I need a bigger one. So I got, found some bigger ones. I found a bunch of pretty, you know, I have a bunch of recipe cards and I've made many cookbook journals through the year. And this is through the years. And this is not meant to be a cookbook journal. It's meant to be a glue book 
but with a slight cookbook theme. <laughs> I, can't, I can't help it, right? It's a cookbook. So let's get this one in the right place and get it all glued down. Okay, looks good, looks good. That looks cute. Okay, those would be nice tuck spots. I leave them open on the side because it's easier to get things in and out instead of having glue here and then just having a limited space. You could actually have something sticking out over here a little bit. It gives you a little leeway. Okay, so here are my, let's see, I pulled out three pieces of gingham for the uh, covers. And this will be nice to glue on too if you did want to use it for a glue book. This is a nice background. I pulled it out of what I have left. I've had this, uh, this paper pad for years. Not four years, but for many years. <laughs> and um, it's gingham color block. I had bought it at... I wish Walmart still carried it. I wish someone still carried it. But I uh, looked on, on, uh, and it was actually kind of hard to find. There's no all, this was all gingham, as you can see from the cover. It was all gingham. And uh, uh, I looked on Amazon, and, and there's some similar, but nothing like this. Nothing with all gingham. So this is a precious commodity here. <laughs> but, and this is all I have left. But I'm using three, I already used one piece on the inside of the cover, or the covers, and then I'm going to use three pieces for the signature covers. And uh, as I always say, I like to have a nice, curdy, cur um, sturdy, here's a piece of glue, let me get that. Nice, let me cover up my glue actually. I don't think we'll need any more, any more glue today. But yeah, I like to have a nice sturdy cardstock on the front of each cover to protect the papers inside because the papers inside are usually papery. You know, sometimes I'll put cardstock on the inside, you know, sometimes I do. And, and you know, but a lot of times I just use paper. So let me cut, I'm going to cut, cut off all the branding strips or that little strip on the top that has the hole in it. And I do, I have been using those, whatever I cut off of each each um, or you know cut off of the cardstock in each journal I have been making little sewn uh, strips for to go along with the goodie pack of each journal so I will do that with these two you know all of these strips that I'm cutting off here so this is the first of this well there was a couple strips from the let's see what do I have from I have the branding strip from the cover inside cover piece too. So, you know, these are 12 by 12. This is uh, about six inches is what my page is gonna be, approximately six inches. So these are, of course, perfect to fold in half for our pages, but of course they're too long. So I always make, for the signature covers, I always make pockets so I don't have to cut off anything. I don't have to have any scraps. That works out really well. Let me just measure here a little bit with the book cover. Make sure I'm putting these in the right spot. This book cover is about the same width as the books I've been using for the last few uh, glue books slash duck journals, but <coughs> this one is longer. This one is 10 and 1 quarter inches. So it's pretty long, but not that wide. Okay, so next I will find my center spot. And just make a little, make a little, you know, notch right there. I guess I can go ahead and fold it in half. It's just hard to fold it with, but I do need to know where my center is so I can cut my, so I can cut my little triangle out like I always do. So I turn it back around before I permanently glue it down and make the fold nice and make sure everything's square. And cut a little triangle right here. Now, if you saw my video on, what was it, Wednesday? <laughs> I made little journey ca journaling cards out of uh, my triangles and made little Christmas trees out of these. So I think I'm going to keep this and that will be a future. And I finished using those actually too. I had some left at the end of the video. And I, well, I was watching TV the other night after, I guess it was last night. Um... I, well, I made that video. Anyway, I since the video, I finished using those little Christmas trees and made a few more journaling cards to use those up. So 
So that those are used up. Now I whatever I make now I can make, you know, I can gather a few up and then make a few more. So and they really turned out cute. I kind of it was it was fun for one thing, and I got to use up those scraps, you know, the triangles, and um, they came out cute. And I ended up, if you saw the video, I used the little stars for the ornament on top of the tree. And then I made one with uh, half beads, half beads on it. I don't want to get glue on this or this, so let me move this out of the way. But, um, yeah, I used half back, like, you know, sticker beads. And then I used, uh, I did the doodling for the other ornaments on the other one. And then I came in here the next morning and I was like, oh... Which is my favorite. It was the doodling one. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. So I did the rest with the doodle ornaments. So so they're a lot of fun. And it's the first time I've really doodled <laughs> for any of my journals, really. I've done paint, painty papers, but I've never really done any doodling. And kind of like the thing that uh, kind of made me confident enough to do that was I practiced while um, my granddaughter... We uh, gave her, or my actually my husband got her a little set of markers, and uh, let I let her. I got out a little, you know, booklet of paper, like a composition book or something, and I let her scribble with the markers. She had a good time doing that, and did it for kept her busy for quite a while. And while she was having her fun, I got me out a little composition book, and I practiced my doodling. So we were both doing our art together. And for the first time, so that was exciting, uh, because she's only, uh, she's two and about, she's a little over two and a half now, or she's about two and a half, I guess. She's not over two and a half. She's about two and a half. But, um, yeah, so, you know, I've been waiting for that moment that we could craft together. So that was our first crafty moment, <laughs> you know, so that was a lot of fun, but, uh. Yeah, can't wait for our whole life of crafty moments. It'll be fun. I have this table here, and I've always thought that, and planned. <laughs> I don't have a stool over there. I have a stool in my house, so I could bring a stool, or, you know, depending how, you know, like, I wouldn't put a two-year-old on a stool. So, but she can sit in a chair. I do have some chair stools that have a back on them, though. I forgot. Yes. So, anyway, whenever she's old enough, I want to bring her in here, like, and set her on the other side of this table. There's, this is a, this is, table is actually a kitchen island, and I bought it from Wayfair. I've mentioned that before, but it has the middle part, and it has two leaves that flip up. So, I always keep it up, but I've always kept that side clear underneath. So that when she's ready, <laughs> she'll it'll be ready for her. I can just bring a stool in here, and I, you know, usually keep it clean. So when she's ready, I can bring her in here, bring whatever stool she wants to sit on or she can sit on, and uh, she can craft over there, and I can craft over here. Doesn't that sound like fun? <laughs> I think it does. I think it will be. It was we were sitting at the dining room table when we crafted together. Uh, you know, what, what was about, uh, that was two weeks ago. So, I think it was two weeks ago. So, and I was babysitting her all day. So, I was looking for things to keep her busy. But, um, and that did keep her busy for a while. So, uh, it was a lot of fun. I'm just saying. So, yeah, big plans, big plans for arts and crafts with my daughter, my granddaughter. And, uh... And it's my, you know, I, I raised two boys, so <laughs> not that we didn't have our crafty moments. We did, but, you know, girls are different. So, so I'm having some fun girl crafty time now <laughs> that I have a granddaughter. Okay, so here's the next page. I'm trying to make sure I don't get glue on anything that I don't want glue on, you know what I mean? So those pockets are glued down. We did the whole thing on the yellow one. We did the whole thing on this, the red one. And of course I have the orange one. So let's get this one done. And I see that my 
my uh, timer is not working, so that's not good. I don't know what time I've used up. Uh, I, I usually watch it on a timer in front of me. And uh, it's, not, it's not working. It's not going. So I'm going to have to guess now. But I think we can finish these pages. And I'm going to show you. Let me get this glue off my hands. I washed all the glue off my hands from the book cover <laughs> before I started the video. So this is all new glue just from this. Okay, I'm going to fold this in half. Make sure I'm talking a lot and I don't want to. Okay, yeah, that was a good length. Don't want to do anything major wrong here. Because especially with this paper, since I don't have very much left, I wouldn't want to ruin a piece, if you know what I mean. So, so what have you all been up to this week? Let me know. I know some one of my subbies told me that she was okay. Oh yeah, I told that's what it was. I told you my son youngest son got engaged, and one of my subbies said her fam I forget if it was a girl, a daughter or son right now. I just read it today at work, so it's kind of a quick thing that I saw when I was catching up on my a little bit on my uh, comments. But uh just had a minute there to uh, look at them and they said that their their child got engaged and that's so exciting. <laughs> so we have that going on and and I know exactly, you know, since I'm, well, you know, it's my second, my older son's already married, so I've already been through it once, but <laughs> it's very exciting, you know, all the plans and everything, so lots of fun to be had when your child becomes engaged, usually, you know, and, uh, all right, let's get this going. We love her. It's my son that's engaged, and we love her, the girl that he's marrying and uh, her parents are are awesome people and their family. You know, we've been with them at a couple of, well, at a Thanksgiving party and a couple birthday parties and they're just the nicest people ever. So, you know, that's always nice, right? <laughs> to have uh, uh, that other family side to be somebody that you could be friends with, you know? And same with my, uh, my first, my oldest son and his wife's parents, uh, we get together with, uh, them and they come to the birthday parties and all that. So very enjoyable, very nice. And everybody is happy and gets along. So it's awesome. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Let me see. I like to figure out kind of, uh which order these are going to go in and since we have the orange i think it would be nice to open up with the orange i mean we could open up with the yellow let me see what that looks like i mean that would be pretty but i don't think it would be the best so i think that um i think like this because you know you've got this would look okay but i think this would be better it kind of sets the yellow kind of sets off and makes the uh everything pop in that order so it would be like this for the um, signature covers. <coughs> so I took apart, I should have got a drink before I came in here. But I was just busy, 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 you know, making the cover. So I took apart the book, and here are the book pages. And I want to find, these are really cool book, book pages. That's another reason I love these books. Because just the pictures from, these are from, 19, they're all from 1963. So they're old. And they were put together very well. They were stapled and sewn in. So, um, I would like to find, because this is a glue book, if somebody wants it to be a glue book, it can be a journal too. Uh, I like, this is the perfect page. It's just got like black and white pictures and all text on here. And, uh... What do you think? I don't think the holes make this any weaker. Like, this is strong. Like, see that? Strong. So, I don't feel like I need to reinforce that. So, I don't know. I'll play that by ear. But there's one. So, I don't have to take them all out of the same same, same signature. But what I'm going to do is take whatever... I want to have two pages from this journal in each signature. And then I'm going to send whatever I don't use along with this. So... 
whoever gets this can cut out or do whatever they want. Make ephemera, journal cards, you know, tags, whatever you want out of these. Um, I don't want to take all these apart. Let's see, how was it now? Uh, but uh, let's just see. Let's just see. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at this salt. And I love these salt and pepper shakers. So let's not take them apart. Let's just look for one that doesn't have any. Maybe I'll do one with all text in each signature and one with a uh, picture. That sounds reasonable, right? <laughs> if I can find another one with all text on it. Okay, so this signature. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see, they're still, they weren't glued together, the pages. They're just, they were sewn. Okay, so this is, is this all text? Let me see. Oh, here's another all text one. Okay, we've got two all text. We've got one for each signature. There was four or five signature signatures here. That's one, two, three, four. Four signatures, okay. So let's see, one more. Look at the chicken. So let's see, is this, yeah, this is... The uh, perforation from where the thread, the, where it was sewn, it's like got the, the holes are still kind of going inside of each other. So it's not, I'm just pulling the hole out of the, uh, the other hole in front of it, pretty much, from where the thread was going through. I'm not pulling glue off or anything. So let's see. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> Yeah, it's been together a long time, you know what I mean? And it was like new, like I said, so. Uh, look at those colors. Look at those pink colors. Beautiful. Okay, I don't know if there's any more text pages. Let's see what this one is here. This might not be too bad if I can get it. I don't want to tear it or anything. I just want to get these, carefully take these apart. Here we go. Okay, this one is probably good. Yeah. Okay, that one has a little picture on it, but that'll be okay. So that's three text. Now, uh, three pictures. I really like this contents page with the chicken, with a little bit of color here, and then somebody could do something over here. I think that's really cool. And then it has all these pictures. So that's one picture page from that. I want to take one from each signature. This is a single page. It was sewn in as a single page. And this right here was wrapped around the edge and sewn together. You can picture that. So I would just cut that off before I send it along with the book for you. And then uh, one from this thing. Oh, here's another one with a strip. Isn't that pretty? I like the strip pages. Okay, so that's another. And then there's some pictures on here, too. Here's some. What are those? Tomatoes or strawberries? So strawberries, I guess. They're just so round. <laughs> so it's strawberry. It's pretty much strawberry season here in North Carolina, in my part anyway. And uh, somebody brought to my work today some of the be most beautiful strawberries I've ever seen. They're all two big, if you can picture, two big white baskets heaping full of beautiful big strawberries. And... Uh, we got to, uh, that's what I had for my breakfast and lunch today. <laughs> I had strawberries. <laughs> so that was fun. Oh, this will be cool. A yellow page. This is the index page, but it's yellow. And then we got this cute chicken in there. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it at that. And I can get really picky and just like keep going through here and going through here. But, you know, I don't think that's really necessary. So let's see how these would fix. I know I'm going to have to cut them down. Because we took out the spine and the spine was right here, you know. So they're going to be quarter of an inch, half inch at, at least, too wide. So the length is, I might cut a sliver off. The, yeah, I'm going to have to cut a little sliver off the top or the bottom, which won't make any difference at all. But the side, oh, I'm going to need to take an inch off the sides. See that right here? So that I'm going to need to do on all six of those pages. And I think I've shown you everything i pulled out so far. Uh, do I have anything else here? No, that's everything i pulled out so far. 
So I'm going to work on the putting these in there and then figure out what other papers I'm going to put in here. Look through my cookbook stuff and stuff like that and see where we go. And I will let you know. And I will see you in my next video. I hope you enjoyed the start of this really cute little cookbook journal. And I'll see you then. See you in my next video. Have a great weekend and I'll see you tomorrow.